Today's topic is custom cam or how to create or record your own positioning profile, put it in a cam and then execute. Now we need to start with MC cam table select because as one of the inputs is MC cam ref, this is a structure which we need to enter a bit deeper. When you open MC cam ref, then you see in fact a couple of things and most important part is this type of cam profile. As a default, cam editor is using SMC cam XYVA, but you can use also one or two dimensional arrays of points. In this example, we will show you how to create or generate sign slave movement, and we will put all the points in one dimensional array. The array is going to be 5000 points big. Let's just open this structure and we see the mandatory fields which needs to be filled out. We will use this later in the program. Now let's go back and start our program. So we are back in our program and main point is now to open one cam profile. Let's open cam one and we right click on this, say properties. We go to cam and here we can select which type of cam we are going to use. So we can say one dimensional array, let's say 128 points. We will leave everything else the same. So master and slave are going to have 360, 360. It's more important for a master to have zero to 360. If we say apply, okay, here nothing really changes. But if we click on cam and then we have this tab, we display generated code and we get how our cam table according to the movement looks like. And we can literally select all and copy it to some global variable. So let's select all, right click copy on application, add object, global variable is, call it GVL and we paste. Now we don't need these points and we have our cam table. Now let's rename it a bit. So we'll say it's sign and sign and everything looks okay, but we need to have 5,000 points. And for that, you need to change the name of this structure. This is already structure which is defined in the library, but you need to put 5,000 points and number of elements needs to be also 5,000. Furthermore, we need to change here the name and also pointer to our table. Everything is okay, however, we need to now create this structure. Our online help from Codesys will come in handy. So let's go back briefly there. We are at our structure for one dimensional array. We select and we copy. And we go back to our program. We are back. We need to create a type object DUT as a structure. We add and we need to copy our structure. Before we do any changes here to make this usable, we also need to provide the proper name back to our GVL. Copy, paste and name. Now let's define this structure properly. Now what we need to do is go to our init program where we initialize our structure. So first of all, we will not use any more periodic. So we will comment this out and we need to put our new cam table. Cam sin. In initialization, we will fill our cam table with sign profile 
for 5000 points. Now we also need to go to our library because we will use a pi and we want to have as accurate as possible calculation but pi is located in mathematics library so let's add this library and now let's make this calculation And here we are. So what we will do is simple for loop for 5000 points and then we will fill each point of our cam slave position. We will not use any more print mark. Let's go to our master axis. We will now set it to 360 and scaling we will keep. Slave axis we will not touch. It's finite. So we will have negative and positive movement and let's go to our trace and we will delete everything except master and slave position and maybe we can leave end of profile here now that we have everything let's log in and load this program run let's open multi-axis control and now what we need to do is enable our drives Let's download the trace. Execute set position to zero on both drives because we will start from zero and our calculation will start from zero. Let's prepare move velocity. Let's execute cam table select. Looks good so far. And let's execute MC cam in. And now we move our master. Back. Zero to minus 200. Zero. Let's see how this looks in a trace. And as you can see also on the motor, master is continuously running 360 degrees and the slave is making sine curve. That's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.